Hi everybody, welcome to Monkey Island Madness. This is a live show taped over at Ustream TV with a live audience, so we're all yakking together, so that's who I'm talking to. Some things may or may not oh may or may not be making sense. Um but we thought we'd get on tonight and um work on a zine for Dee Dee because her birthday is coming up here pretty quick and if we don't do anything else, we've got a place to hang out together, and we'll brainstorm. And in the meantime, I'll just do the basic layout for a zine. Um, but Jean, I agree. She's she's got a standing Friday night date, so it won't be her. So, I think it is on Fridays, Mindy. I think it is. So yeah, we'll go ahead and um at least do a basic layout if nothing else my layout sheet here is 12 inches so I'm gonna go ahead and mark down my 11 inches um, so I know where my pages end So I'm glad Angela's feeling good enough to stream tonight. Let's make a scene. A scene like a crazy scene or a zine. And I'm using that same graph paper that I used the other day, and it has, I'll hold it up and see if you guys can see it at all. And our other, um, can you see that? Those are um, one-sixth of an inch grids that are on there. A zine, okay. Alright, and the blue doesn't erase as well as graphite, so let me see. Uh-oh, I'm getting nervous, you guys. My 03 graph gear isn't right here. Oh, man, that'll make me nervous. It has to turn up. Where in the world? Where? I don't carry that off. I never take it anywhere. <gasps> I wonder if it was in my journal. Hang on. I'm going to go look for it out by the couch, you guys. Hang on just a second. You see it. Oh, the, the one six inch grid. Yeah, it's pretty tiny. Hang on. I'm going to look for this. Kitty didn't take it. It was in my journal. Oh, man. Just dropped my colored pencils for my ATC swap. All right, we're in business. Woohoo! Hi, shells. Aren't they pretty? Look at all of them together. They're just so pretty. The 03 has definitely become my favorite, though. I can say that without any hesitation at all. 
All right, now I'm just doing the panels for the zine. Okay, if you start out with an 8.5 by 11 inch sheet, just cut it in half once and then in quarters. So that's two and a half, two and three quarters. I'm sure glad I got more lead. And two and three quarters down here. I sure didn't get much accomplished today, I have to say that. Oh gosh, what a worthless day. But I had fun watching the inauguration and feeling all patriotic and junk. I like that junk because I just see it as historical. And I'm a history nut. And then in half this way. And then I'll show you again for those of you who may not know or who maybe are watching the recording and don't know about zines. Um, somewhere around here. Right here. Is what I'm building. So the lines I made are in fact the folds. You do too? Did you like all the... I, I love today. I, I like that we um, have a smooth transition of power and I, I don't know. I'm just a sap for that sort of stuff. But anyway, um, yeah, so this is what I just laid out for myself. And then if you're going to ever make a zine, you just fold the paper in half once. Fold it up in half this way. In half this way. And in half this way. And those are your panels. And then when you're designing it, when you have it folded out like this, go ahead and number them. One, two, three, through eight. And then to actually do your design, lay this out flat because your cover ends up down in this corner and page 8 is next to it. It was. It was an awesome day, I think, in America. Now, I say that and I am, in truth, Cautiously optimistic is how I would describe myself today. But I love all the pomp and circumstance and the military bands, and I just love all that junk. Okay, so I put my page numbers down so I don't goof up with any luck at all. And um, then in each one of these panels, you have to give yourself a a margin around the edges. So I'm going to go ahead and draw that in for myself right now. I'm going to go ahead and leave um, about a quarter of an inch. That's plenty. Um, who's in chat? Let me look real quick. We've got two anonymous. I'll ask um, Eileen because she's in charge. Um, for those of the um, fibs who maybe weren't around the other day when we did that special project, do you think I should show them? Or should I just leave it alone? Eileen, Jean, you guys were both here. The girl, oh, um, what's her name? Jackie Ivanko? Yeah, that little girl is some kind of special. I remember seeing her on America's Got Talent or something like that. One of those talent shows and she absolutely knocked the socks off everybody. What a beautiful voice. But the Tabernacle Choir was also just so good. And all the patriotic songs. I mean, it just turns me to a, a sap. That's probably why I'm streaming tonight because I feel all sappy. 
Eileen says go ahead and show it. Okay, for those of you who were here the other day, um, we all got together and did, um, it was a true streamathon, and we made this little zine. Let me get this stuff out of the background so hopefully you can see it better. But we made this little zine, and my copy didn't come out good. I suspect my black's running out of ink. Um, well, see, Jean, I can't put this recording up for a while. I'll put the recording for this one up long before I put the recording for this one up because of, um, because of Didi. And then these were um, get well wishes from all the fibs that we included. And I, you guys haven't seen it actually done and folded up. And then we wrote an article. And then here's how the little um, cartoon came out. So I did it more like a cartoon than an ad, you guys. And then we did a classified ad for an enabler and a classified ad, help wanted ad for a full-time tricker head. And there's a 50% off coupon. I think for no more time or effort than we put into it, I'm happy with it. And I, I have to believe, um, okay, yeah, we can just lie all we want, Jean. We're a bunch of trick or head liars. So, yeah, that, um, it's off in the mail. I did write a little note on the back of it. Well, I wrote a note on the inside and told her that it was a collaboration from all of us. And um, But on the back of the envelope, I wrote um, that I thought the fibs would... Uh, well, what I did was I asked her to turn on the camera because I thought the fibs would like to see her open it and see her reaction to it. So, I'm hoping um, that when she gets it, she'll at least hop on for a minute or two to just to, so you guys can see her reaction to it because I think she'll enjoy it. Um, it's got some pretty funny parts to it, and I think it shows her that we know her fairly well and that we care about her. So, um, yeah, I think it'll work out well. So I hope she listens to my free advice and turns on the camera. Because I'd like to see her reaction to it. I would have liked to see Jen's reaction last night too, but Ustream was being a total PETA last night. I swear to God. I was so frustrated. It would just work well for like a minute and I could join in chat and then it would freeze. I was like, Ugh, I'm going crazy. I'm going to kill somebody. So now I'm just giving myself margins, top and bottom. And if you're doing a zine, and um, I mean, I could move these margins conceivably out a sixth of an inch. Um, but like if you're doing it in a hurry or you don't have much copy, just make your margins a little bit bigger. Like these margins on this one. The top, that's a pretty pretty big margin. I could have moved that up easily. The bottom ones get a little tricky because look, because your copier doesn't copy exactly, you, you lose some of the copy at the bottom. So I could have moved the whole thing up. Oh, I know. Yeah. Me too, Eileen, trying to figure out that GoFundMe, and she's trying to show us how to build a box. I was like, oh, man. I'm happy we did that for her, though. I really am. And, Jean, thank you for sticking your neck out and doing that. Um, I, don't, I, I don't know anything about GoFundMe. Do they um, keep a percentage of the money raised? How do they make their money? I guess that was a question I had is... Like, do they keep 1%, 10%, 5%? I did wonder about that. If any of you know, I'd like to know. Hi, Jillian. But anyway, I'm glad we got it figured out. And 
hopefully we'll be able to get her a little bit of relief because I know she lives on the edge a lot so all right so I need to get I think I have some right here all right Marilyn you know the family who owns what Go fund me. All right, I have real paper to write on today. Oh my gosh, there's scrap paper everywhere in this house. There's doodles everywhere in this house. Oh, Carolyn A., the, um, yeah, it was for Ange. She was there. She knew we were doing it, but that's fine. So do they keep a percentage of it, Marilyn? Out of curiosity? I mean, I, I know if you're building a website and supporting it and everything, you've got to make money too, but I just, I wondered... Yeah, Carolyn, no, you didn't do it wrong. Um, we were doing a GoFundMe page last night. Jean had done it in Canada, which meant, like those of us who gave in the United States, um, it would have been converted, I believe, to Canadian funds and then back to U.S. dollars, which would have, in the end, ended up the same for Ange, I believe. That was my thinking. But since we have fibs all over the world, um, yeah, we thought just do it in U.S. dollars and and be done with it. So, and this way it's more direct. They keep five percent. Okay. Okay, and and Marilyn, I I know that if you have a web page, it it's not free to operate. So that's what I was wondering. So actually, we just made Ange five percent on her money, but I don't begrudge GoFundMe their their funds, though. Don't get the wrong impression there. So anyway, okay, this is for Dee Dee's birthday. So. Yeah, I think there was only like five of us that actually had gone on the GoFundMe. Um, I was happy because I had money sitting in my PayPal anyway. So it was a good way for me just to go ahead and spend that money and add some to it. So, Oh, awesome, Jean. I See, I didn't know that, that she received so far to make up for last week's. Oh, that's good. I hope she gets enough to help her pay um, for a little bit on these medical bills that she's going to have. But I think, too, the hospital will work with her on those. Yeah, we did it all during Jen's stream. Jen's a good sport, though. Yeah. So, all right, we're going to be thinking about DDZ birthday zine. I love this onion skin paper. Just seeing what's in here. I haven't had this out in a while. All right, what do we want the cover of Dee Dee's zine to be? It ought to be birthday related. Yeah, the pharmacy bill about knocked my socks off. But fortunately, she only has to pay 75 of that. And I thought, oh, well, we'll get that much easily. So.
<laughs> don't email me. I put that one in the last one. That will probably end up getting in there. I'm thinking a birthday cake. All right. The way I normally plan out a zine is the front, the cover always gets, I do it more like a newspaper, okay? So, hi, Patty. We're just sitting here planning out a zine um, for Dee Dee's birthday that's coming up. We may or may not get it done, but we, um, oh, Patty, you want to see what we did for Ange? The other day we did a collaboration on a zine for Ange because she'd been in the hospital and everything. So this was for Ange, her Get Well Gazette. Stop monkeying around and get better. Everybody who was at the stream that day sent their well wishes and I just copied them out with quote marks. And it continued back to here. We wrote an article that studies link cause of ulcers to noisy inconsiderate neighbors. We did some classified ads for enablers and tricker heads and here's an enabler anonymous meeting today cartoon. Hi my name is Eileen and I'm an enabler. <laughs> a little 50 percent off coupon and a coffee mug with a quote on it. So that's what we did the other day. Now we're sitting here dreaming up a zine for Dee Dee's birthday. How's your puppy too? I'm curious too. He's doing well recovering from surgery. So crazy to see. I know Patty you have had just uh, so many issues. Poor thing. It's hard when your fur babies get sick, for sure, for sure. Okay, so this is the fold. I'm going to write myself some notes because the other day I was getting confused. Okay, so I can start my copy right there. So generally... I would start with a banner head. I think I'm going to move this up this time, you know? Yep, I'm going to. I'd rather leave the blank space at the bottom than the top. So then when it copies, it copies right. I'm going to change that. All right, think of a name for our publication here. You guys are supposed to be helping me, remember? That was the whole idea. The birthday, we could do the birthday banner. Banner is a good name for a newspaper. Um... Let's see, there's a Gazette, there's a Chronicle, there's a Time. It could be Birthday Times. coffee times. You don't want to make it specific to her birthday. Coffee and art times. Alright, here we're going to write these down. See, I was thinking about of course, we can still make it specific to her birthday. All right, you guys are liking coffee and art times. Well, aren't you simple? Thank you. 
Okay, shells, good idea. Uh, you can tell I was so not prepared for this stream. I don't know where my lettering, my little lettering guide, guide is. It's probably in here. It is. And I have this one. So we got plenty of lettering guides. We're good to go. And we're going to do the lettering kind of large. I'm going to pencil it in first. I can't imagine how this could be more boring for you guys. All right, now I know where my spacing has to go. Well, simple in one way, CB. And some of you are simple in another way. And I'm just easy, so what difference does it make? <laughs> oh, poor Dave. He needs a lot, a lot of hugs, Patty. So hard. Oh. All right. It's really hard to see with this lighting. GD has a hard time reading it when I use that little tiny lettering, so I'm going to try and be a little careful. Okay, so let's see. Birthday wishes can be the headline article. Alright, is that what we want to do, the initial article? Uh, 
Alright, you guys, you gotta be helping me here. Kangaroo. Um, I what I got all over me. Hmm. Let's see, birthday wishes. A cake with a glitter candle. Yeah, I was thinking I would draw a birthday cake for her or get out a rubber stamp. A monkey jumping out of a birthday cake. You like the idea of something in there where she can color? Okay, how about a coloring book page with the birthday cake to color? Maybe what we'll do is one of the pages inside we can do a, a coloring page. A sci-fi You guys don't want much, do you? A sci-fi inkwell cake with waterfalls. Are you out of your mind? Or just the monkey face? Yeah. Huh. All right, we need to come up with a headline. Um, you have to think like a, a writer, somebody who's writing for the Coffee and Art Times. Be birthday wishes for famed, like she's some kind of famous artist. All right. Could our lead article be birthday wishes for famed artist Dee Dee Willingham? A sci-fi waterfall cake sounds like a brilliant idea. If Dee Dee was drawing this and doing this, I think it would be a brilliant idea. <laughs> the monkey face with icy dripping from her mouth. You want renowned artist? Okay, um, the part about um, turning 29 again, um, we'll use that somewhere else, but we probably will use it. Birthday wishes for renowned artist Dee Dee Willingham. All right, we're going to do a little article, and then we're going to see how much space we've got. We'll put a clock on the wall behind the cake or something. All right, we need to write an article about birthday wishes for renowned um, fibs around the world. Got lost in the gold rush. Um, I like to use big words that I don't use in real life when I'm writing these two. You just exploded boiled eggs in the kitchen? You need to go get yourself an egg cooker. They're $29 at Bed Bath & Beyond. They make the best boiled eggs in the world. 
Really didn't even be on our YouTube D Way submitted in twenty twenty one. Okay, I wrote that down, sh Shells, as one idea. Oh, my God. All right. Got lost in the gold rush for a survivor of her old age. Eileen, I am so not following you. Okay, I'll ch uh, I have no ownership here, so if you don't like what I'm writing, um, just speak up. But I'm trying to, you know, set a tone for the whole paper. Um, what I have so far, and we can change it. Fibs around the world are clamoring to send best, best wishes to Dee Dee, also known as Inkwell, on the anniversary of her 29th birthday. But I don't know. I have no idea how um, old Dee Dee is. Um, I suspect she's close to my age. Um... I really, I don't know how old Dee Dee is, but we could put on the, um, the 30th question mark anniversary of her 29th birthday, which would put her birthday up near 60. No, see what I'm saying is, we know she's older than 29, obviously. So in this case, it would be the 30th anniversary of her 29th birthday. Get what I'm saying? You guys don't get that? Did she turn 29 31 years ago? I mean, because I don't really know. It, that might be too hard to understand. Never mind. Which would put her age, or I could actually say the 50th anniversary, because we know she's not... 89, right? Her daughters are 44 and 42. Okay. Well, then Dee Dee is probably right around my age. Yeah, we are, Allie. We're making another... Um, we're making a zine for Dee Dee's birthday. Okay, your dad used to use that line all the time. Yeah, it's it's not original with me, I promise you. I've heard it somewhere, I'm sure. All right. Because if I start the, the paragraph earlier today, renowned artist, or internationally renowned artist Dee Dee, Willingham celebrated turning 29 again with a hundred of her closest friends. Okay, where do we go from there? But if we say like the anniversary of her 50th, or yeah, the 50th anniversary, which would make her 
79. We know she's not 79. Um, then the rest of the article, we could just make fun of her. <laughs> All right, you guys, give me some ideas here. Yeah, I, I'm gonna I I like that too, Shells. I just wrote it down that the secret um rumor has it I'm just getting ideas down here. We don't have to have any of this. Okay, if we went ahead and used, when asked what the series, she said, cups of coffee. Okay, that's what I'm, I'm thinking. What I have so far is fibs around the world are clamoring to send best, best wishes to Dee Dee, also known as Inkwell, on the 50th anniversary of her 29th birthday. No one is quite certain of her age, but she appears to be quite young. Um... When asked, what the secret to her youthful appearance, is she responded, Okay, this is kind of cute because it's a play on her um, YouTube channel or Ustream channel. Okay, no one is quite certain of her age, but she appears to be quite, quite young. When asked what the secret to, okay, the, when asked the secret to her youthful appearance, is she responded copious amounts of coffee and art in the morning I actually like that too copious amounts of coffee and art in the morning okay how could we incorporate that And, I mean, this article can go on for multiple pages. So if it's very long and it's all about her, that's okay, too. Because she'll read it and she'll laugh. I know, Dee Dee. Coffee and art in the morning. Um... Um, I 
I'm trying to incl include as many of you guys' ideas as I can. Um, I like that, Nina, and we're going to get that in. And I'm going to have to make this read smoother, but you're getting the idea. I like the CB I loved, a thin coat of gesso, so I'm tr I tried to figure out how to do that. That the secret to her youthful appearance is copious amounts of coffee and art in the morning. Fibs, I don't want to say fibs rumored, fibs gossip, fibs talked, something that her beauty routine must involve Americana paint as a night cream, but others gossip that she uses a thin coat of gesso. Her diet regimen, we're sure, Um, gesso or a ceram coat. Yeah, that's good too. Yeah, Dee Dee never uses gesso, but since the rest of us all do, um, Yeah, I, I, was, I just added that, um, Jean. I said that the, the fibs are the ones that are, are gossiping, okay? Um, that she uses a thin coat of gesso or ceram coat. Her diet was sure. And I'm really going to have to rewrite this, so... I, I like the... Um, the idea about the don't email me, but I want to do it... I want to twist it and say that when asked about something, the artist responded, no one ever emails me. Like all of a sudden it's backfired on her, you know? Matte medium. Okay, let's see. Ceram Gesso, ceram coat, or golden matte medium. Okay, shells. Okay. Fibs speculated. 
I like that um, that we could use that that DD how can I word that what's trippy face paint I don't know that trippy face plant oh when the camera falls BB's painted it um, that okay every time she uses a clock in her artwork time is turned back okay another explanation Okay, how do you guys like this sentence? Another explanation, and we're obviously talking about for her youthful appearance. And I may change the headline based on where this article has gone now. It's hard to write a headline before you write the article. Anyway, another explanation for her youthful appearance could be that Every time she uses a clock in her artwork, time is turned back, or something like that. What did I miss, Nina? What did I miss, Nina? You might I, you have to remember that I'm writing this while you guys are are gabbing, so. Um, And doll, I'm not following the dolly rolls over in his grave. Oh, okay. I'm not sure. I, I, I get it now, Nina. I'm just trying to think how I can um, incorporate that. Let me put it over here with this other idea. I can go back and edit, Nina, so don't worry about it. this I'm not sure but I like it this brand new pen I think I've ruined it with that metal um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, um, let me start over. Fibs around the world are clamoring to send best, best wishes to Dee Dee, also known as Inkwell, on the 50th anniversary of her 29th birthday. No one is quite certain of her age, but she appears to be quite young. When asked what the secret, okay, what the secret to her youthful appearance is she responded okay 
copious amounts of coffee and art in the morning. Paragraph, okay? That is the first paragraph. Second paragraph. Fibs rumored that her beauty routine must involve Americana paint as a night cream, but others gossip that she uses a thin coat of gesso, ceram coat, or golden map medium. Her diet regimen, we're sure, includes grilled cheese as well as big salads. Uh, that isn't fitting in there comfortably for me. Another explanation for her youthful appearance could be that every time she uses a clock in her artwork, time is turned back. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I, we'll put that in somewhere. I think that's going to be the closing paragraph, CB. Um, I'm, I'll, we'll end it by saying, while we all speculate about Dee Dee's real age, um, sources close to the artist report that Mona Lisa was her best friend <laughs> was once her best friend we can do orphan sock monkeys in a whole separate we don't have to put everything in this initial um, article um, because I this may be just a paragraph and then we'll have a birthday cake or something and then we'll continue it on to page two um, but we're gonna need a lot of material to fill up eight pages you guys so this is just an introduction to what the zine is about really um, so we're gonna tease her about her age because nobody really knows um, I, I kind of after hearing that, I speculate that she is right, right at my age. Um, yeah, I like, I'm not liking that. And we did the clock, okay. And we'll put a clock in the artwork. Okay, hang on, I just thought of how we could do that. Time is magically yes we could shells actually I did that in the last um, zine for her I wrote a thing that all orphan sock monkeys should call me but we can do it again we'll just do a different take on it A wedding announcement. Okay, we'll calligraphy. All right, if you're throwing ideas out, go ahead and throw ideas out and we'll write them down and we'll. Um, oh, uh, a wedding announcement. Didn't they run off and get married? I thought they were going to Vegas. Okay. Um, that's what I thought. They're already... Um, I thought they um, eloped and went to Vegas so there wouldn't be an announcement. Okay, one thing we can include in this one that I've been... Um, um,
kind of keeping in the back of my head. Um, I want to do in a zine for Dee Dee, it doesn't have to be this one, but it has to be one, is um, an article about um, what does Vern really know? Or what does Vern... You know what I mean? And then, it, like, if we did a page of what does Vern really know, then it would be, um... It could be a congratulations on your wedding announcement. I don't know that. What? what, what? Hi, Laura. I thought they had eloped. We could do congratulations to them. Well, what happens with Lulu and Pierre, this is my feeling about that, is Dee Dee's deal. That I don't get to plan if Lulu and Pierre have babies. <laughs> if Dee Dee decides they're having babies, they're having babies. Yeah, we're, we're um, brainstorming on a... Um, birthday zine for um for Dee Dee. So be thinking about I, I like the idea of what Ver, what does Vern really know? Cause you know her and Paula both. So you know what I mean Vern? You know what I mean Vern? That I, I can't I can't make an announcement about a baby sock monkey. They're not my sock monkeys. Lulu might have had her tubes tied for all I know. Maybe CB knows. <laughs> all right, hang, give me just a second and let me see what kind of birthday cake stamp or something I have. Um, I don't want this to take, like, freaking forever. So let me see what I've got. I have a ton of birthday stamps. Ton, ton, ton. Well, in fact, so you guys can see the images. Actually, I like this one. This one is kind of cute. Are you shrimping yet? Yes, I am, honey. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, I know. Cause I'm gonna try and do like birthday images for the um Kind of keep the whole thing geared toward Dee Dee's birthday. That's the reason I'm doing this. It's not just a. Um, if it was just a fun zine, which we can do some other time. Um, boy, that got blurry, didn't it? All that white. Let's see. Well, I haven't laid out all the birthday ones. Doggone it. <laughs> Hang on. Because I can, you know, like, what I was thinking was birthday images. Balloons, candles, cakes... Um, I don't think, um, Dee Dee minds clowns, does she? Mm. 
Uh, it's hard for me to show you guys that because I don't have it. Um... Oh no, I've had this these books forever, Eileen. My stamp sample books. I've had these forever. And then there's little numbers that tells me where the stamp is. That's in drawer number 36. That's all Christmas stuff. And then words and alphabets. So no, I've had this forever. The problem is, Eileen, is I've um, not kept it completely up to date. So I got to go back and update it. For real, for real, for real. Okay, listen. I've been cuckoo my whole life. This isn't anything recent, Eileen. Yeah, no, I've had my stamp books forever. But do you guys get it that I want this to be just like all about her birthday? Her birthday, her birthday. So that the image, um, like the, and I'm going to really try and keep it easy. That we're only going to use one candle and then we can speculate about her age all day long. I don't know how Dee Dee has her stamps. She unmounted all of them, didn't she, Eileen? Yeah, see, I don't like not being able to find what I have. You guys have never seen my stamp cabinet, but there's a whole big cabinet over here that has, I don't know, 40 or 50 drawers in it or something. Maybe not that many. Um, and there, the drawers are about that high, just high enough for this stamp to sit in. So, But I've been thinking about unmounting um, a lot of mine. Dee Dee's birth, birthday wish list. Now, we could do a wish list for sure. Just keep it birthday related. And if you guys want to do a Dee Dee zine, you can do that. Oh, you did see a post on Twitter? Yeah, that's fine. We figured Dee Dee probably wouldn't show up because she's probably watching um, Gold Rush with Hubby tonight. So we're not worried about it. Okay? CB and you guys feel like you're the only normal ones? Well, get over yourself, Eileen, because I'm telling you, you are far from normal, girl. Far, far, far from normal. So let's see. I'm going to leave about this amount of space. And if we don't like this, you guys, don't forget, it's a little bit of time and paper. This bad boy can go in the trash just as quick as I sat down and drew the borders. I don't get excited about it. Okay. So I'm going to leave. Let me look at actual image. I'm going to leave about an inch and a half. Yeah, I'm leaving an inch and a half. For the photo. Okay. And that leaves <laughs> three quarters. Yeah, that's going to fit in there nicely. Okay. So that article that we just wrote is going to go ahead and go on into um, page two. Denise was visiting. I don't know if she's spending the night, her and the kids, or if she was going home. I don't know. And thanks, Garrett. Eh? I know, CB. Look at that smile on your angelic face. And Jean, you are partly normal. Normal for a Martian, for sure. So, yeah, and, um... 
I am recording, but I'm not going to put the recording up um, right away because I don't know if Didi will watch it or not. So um, let's think about another article because we've got the first article is going to be about the speculation about her age and the secret to her youth. Um, we could think of some crazy um, celebrations that are planned. Okay. In celebration of her birthday, that would be idea for a article. Um, the wingnut book. How are we going to tie that in with her birthday, Eileen? This is all about her birthday. What we should do is somebody should make a, another wingnut book for her birthday. A party planned for her to occur. Something about Prismacolor and Americana paint. We've already got the Americana paint, Laura. We put it in the... Uh, Okay, that's a good one. The planned celebration could be a wingnut gala planned. Okay, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Page two. Okay, so that's going to... The birthday cake will be there. The article will finish here. I think we're going to leave this for an ad down here. So we can put more artwork down here. Page three. Um, I like the wingnut gala. So that's moving over. Okay, a party plan for her to occur. Something, okay, wingnut gala. I like the wingnut gala. I think that's, um, okay, I like the sponsored by. Prisma Premier. And Americana. Americana is actually Deco Arts. We'll use Americana because that's how she always refers to it. Okay, crazy color book lady. Okay, I'm writing down the ideas. That's a good one, Eileen. I like that. No fixatives. We'll be invited. I like that because she doesn't like them. Um, Janet, see above. What? Debbie, maybe a special sale at Books a Million in honor of her. Okay. Yeah, I, I wrote that down, Debbie, about um, something that we could do an article about the crazy color book lady. I wrote it down. Is that what you were talking about? <laughs> Ink tester planning a bonfire. Mouse guard, my martinis, Bennett. Those are kind of some good ideas there, Marilyn. 
food and drink to include mouse guard martinis Um, who's that other, um, yeah, she does like Star Trek. Um, is she the one who likes, um, is it Joanna Bassford? Is that her name? Yeah, that's what I was going to say is what other, um, I think it's Joanna Bassford, isn't it? Yeah, with special special guest Sean Connery if Sean Connery was there I would knock Dee Dee out to get to him first I'm just saying that's when Dee Dee and I would have our first real falling out All right, and I like that too. All guests will be given a whip app. Okay, maybe yeah, Sean Connery. Um Jasmine Beckett, that's the one I couldn't think of. Thank you very much. Paula likes Joanna Bassford. Okay. Um, who else are some of her favorite? Um, oh, my gosh. Melania Trump is so gorgeous. That dress she has on is fabulous. OMG. Take that designers who wouldn't design for her. She would look good in toilet paper. That girl. I swear to God. She is absolutely gorgeous. Um, anyway, sorry. The TV's on over there and I just saw that out of the corner of my eye. Yeah, I think I'm going to make Sean Connery the master of ceremonies. Um, Jasmine Beckett. Think of some of the other ones that she really likes and supports. Yeah, the blue she wore today, that was beautiful. Okay, that's good, Debbie. Okay, she likes Hannah Carlson. I was thinking I really, I like the guest list too. Oh, Kirby Roseanne's, exactly. That's a great one. Cast of the Gold Rush. Yeah, that's um, Kirby. I already had Bennett Klein, yes. Hannah Carlson, I don't even know her. All right, if you think of any other, um, um, color book artist that she likes. Well, see, the flow books, I, I like the names because she will appreciate the, I guess, the wit in that. Um, 
Who's the artist that sends her the bookmarks? Well, she buys the bookmarks at a museum there in um, Atlanta. I think in the get in the gift shop. I thought, but a lot of people send her stuff. Um, hey, cat. Hey. What, Allie? Hey, cat. Hey. Romantic country. Ugh. I don't. I've never seen her work in a Colin Thompson book, Laura. I'm trying to think. Oh, oh, Ben. I know who you're talking about now, Carol Renee. Yeah, that um, I wrote Hannah down. Um, yeah, Ben Ben is the guy is who you're talking about. Yeah, he's a fellow artist. Um, I know how I can find out. Let me run in and look at my bookshelf, and and I might come up with some other names of who she loves. Well, the only other one I can think of that I'd already thought of and not written out down was Joanna Basford. So that's going to be the special guess. Oh, the Hey Cat, Hey. Um, Allie, I've already done her a piece of artwork about Hey Cat. I'm watching him dance real quick at the, at the ball. All right, let's see. I have, yeah, I put Jasmine Beckett. Is it Jasmine Beckett Griffith? Yes, Carol Renee. Actually, Bandit is the bouncer. Oh, I'm sorry, Allie, when, about the hay cat. I, my brain wasn't there, Allie. That's all I can say is, um, yeah, my brain just was not on hay cat hay. All right, and then Camilla... Jericho, Pop Magna. I've never seen her do that one either. Who's Daria's song, Laura? Oh, okay. She's the author of the Time Chamber books. Oh, she does like those, huh? All right. Let's go ahead and write the article. I think this is good. We've got plenty to fill up page three. Um, maybe I don't even read, need to rewrite it. Um, all right, the headline for this article is...
Wingnut Gala planned. There will be a celebration. for Dady Willingham she loves pop magna oh okay Camilla okay Yeah, see, the problem with the Creative Haven ones, Allie, is they don't have name recog you know, like an, an individual's name that is recognizable. But yeah, I know she does those. Doodlers Anonymous we've taken care of with, um, oh, yeah, see, Doodlers Anonymous, again, that's, um, I didn't think it, think there's 74 different artists and I don't know any of their names and I don't know that any of us would recognize them you know maybe a few of them All right, where is this super gala going to be held? We need to find a really fun place. All right, I think we're going to have the gala at the Waffle House because that's where she likes to go. Either that um, or Red Robin. She likes both of those. So, all right, it's going to be held at. Um, the varsity. Yeah, we're going to hold it at the varsity because she likes the varsity too. All right, I'm just seeing what day of the week February 4th is this year because I don't know. February 4th is a Saturday. Yeah, Varsity is where she loves to go. Aboard a starship in outer space. All right. Um... So we could tie in the outer space CB things. Um, we could turn it into a costume gala, and then decorations for the gala will be outer space theme. There will be a special coupon for Dick Blix. 
for all gala attendees. Yeah, see, that's what I, um, that's what I'm thinking. Since um, CB said something about, I like having it at the Varsity because that we know that's Dee Dee's one of her favorite places to go. Her and her husband go there a lot. But I like the CB's idea aboard a starship in outer space because her artwork is always outer space. So what I'm thinking is, um, yeah, that we could turn it into a. Um, to a themed gala, which will include costumes and decorations for the gala will be outer space themed. Yeah, Shells, that's what we were just saying. And a Copics Parade. All attendees will receive a goodie bag containing... Yeah, I think... Um, Let's see what we've got so far. There will be a celebration to honor Dee Dee on her special day. Um, on her special day, comma, February 4th at the Varsity. Atlanta, Georgia, and I, I don't care what the starting time is. Um, special guests to include, and then I thought we would do all the artists, Kirby Roseanne, Bennett Klein, Jasmine Beckett Griffith, Darius Song, Hannah Carlzone, Joanna Basford, Camilla DeArco, Cast of the Gold Rush, with special master, or with the master, okay. Master of Ceremonies is Sean Connery. No fixative, no fixatives will be allowed at the gala. Gala spot. Okay, I'll do the sponsored by at the very end. Food and drink to include Mouse Guard Martinis, Bennett Klein beer, and Shaky Milks. And if you guys can think of more food and drink, we could do that. All guests will be given a whip app. And a coupon for Dick Blicks. All right, this I'm not sure how we're going to. That's actually a good idea. Okay. We can include him then, Allie. Ben Y-O-C-K Okay This is getting hard to read all of a sudden. Yeah, we did the big salad on her, on the reason she has such a youthful appearance, Laura.
All right, that is a long article. We have just filled up three page three for sure with the Wingnut Gala. Okay, and this is continue page one. And then I'm going to put an ad or something down there. I haven't. That's going to take, this is going to take up a whole page at least. All right. So, um, all right. Peanut butter toast. Onion rings. Raisinets, all right, you want the clean color, let's see, oh my gosh, this is getting so hard to read now, clean color, Starship Enterprise, okay. It could be held in one. Okay, we've already got a place that it's being held. I'm not changing it. It's going to be held at the new varsity above, aboard the Clean Color Starship Enterprise on February 4th. Coffee and cranberry juice. All right. All right, and I, I will put in Dee Dee will be the boss of her gala. Hi, Carrie Ann. We're doing another zine, Carrie Ann. All right, we've probably about exhausted that. All right, let's see. All right, so we pretty much took care of the wing nut and the planned celebration all in one. Okay. The next article, because remember, her birthday is February 4th, and the first week, I think around the 3rd of February, she makes a trip to Books a Million every year. So I'm thinking we could do an article um, about birthday girl... Um, do not yes, RSVP by email. That's cute too. Birthday girl spotted at books a million and I don't know it's just something else we know about her that she will be doing around her birthday it's the huge dick blick she goes to I thought then varsity it is Jean why what were you thinking yeah dick blicks is down close to the varsity next door or something because remember she parks in um, one of the parking lots so um, we could do an article about her going to books a million for calendars on her birthday um, 
but try and make it funny and, and witty and fun. Um, but not for her birthday. What? Yeah, that would be hard. Allie, that would be really hard to to work together about losing her marbles over the collage book. Okay. You're confusing me, Jean. Um, what else did we have down? Because we've got, what, how many more pages? That may roll over into there. Um... Actually, rather than writing an article about the books a million, I could do an ad. For three dollar calendars at books a million. In honor of Dee Dee's 50th anniversary of her 29th birthday. I'm teasing her about being old because, I, you know, we've got to do something. Didi goes to Books a Million about the 3rd of February every year. It, you know, and she, I don't think she has to justify it for her birthday or anything else. Well, what I'm thinking is they do the $3 calendar, but I'm saying the $3 calendars this year is going to be done in honor of her birthday. Jean says that Dee Dee does not go to Books a Million for her birthday. Okay. Yeah, we could also um, um, do another ad. Jet pens offering or a coupon um, okay Jean ignore you I don't I won't ignore you I'll just forget what you said she goes when they put, yeah, yeah, she goes the third of the month in February. And I went the last two years. And but I still have calendars I haven't used. But I'll go again this year. Um, so, yeah, I know she likes jet pens. We can do an ad for um, Books a Million. Um... And I'm going to do the, the Books a Million ad um, with great big letters, like B-A-M, because I think that's how she usually um, refers to it, B-A-M. That's Books a Million. Oh, you're just, well, see, and I'm kind of distracted by um, looking up and seeing Donald Trump dancing with his wife, which I love. Um, bye, Grammy. What else? Let's see what we've got here. That we're not going to include because it doesn't have to do with Dee Dee's birthday. The whole thing has to be do um okay now we could do we could make up something 
Um, of course, we've already got a, a party plan. Yeah, she does say bam. Bad at mailing. But in her world, BAM equals books a million. Because she's great at mailing because she has her own personal mailman. Um, if we want to do the sock monkey thing, um, we could make up something about what the sock monkeys are going to do or have done for Dee Dee on her birthday, or that there's a sock monkey um, adoption plan. Or, yeah, I'm going to think of something with Flo yet. Um, what else? About your birthday. About your birthday. About your birthday. And then no I normally like artwork interspersed among the pages, so... Um, probably on the back here, I'll put a, the, um, the cupcake. Here. Um, and back here, I think I'll probably just draw a big um, bouquet of balloons. So we can fill up that page real easy with just some real pretties. Um, with some real pretty balloons. So I'm, I'm guessing we're about halfway done with this. The sock monkeys are going to unravel. I, I think I may not come up with it tonight because now I'm getting a little bit tired. But um, I think we could come up with a whole page of sock monkey shenanigans. Um, in fact, I'm going to call it that. Sock mon monkey shenanigans for Dee Dee's birthday. I may have to think about it a little bit. We may have to come back for part two. Oh, I'm out of lead already. Are you kidding me? This bad boy uses a fair amount of lead. Yeah, I think we could come up with a whole bunch of shenanigans that the sock monkeys would do for Dee Dee's birthday. Whether it's, um, for example, and I'm not saying we use this, um, Um, but for example, short shooting her bed or, um, you know how she talks about how Bud does crazy things to her? Like when she goes to the car door, he pulls forward, just little shenanigans like that. So they could be baking a birthday cake. It could be in the shape of Mona Lisa. In trouble somewhere getting a gift and Hubs had to bail them out. Toilet papering the craft room. Okay, Debbie, in trouble somewhere getting her gift and Hubs had to bail them out. Well, actually, we could do, 
if we did that, you know, do like a <laughs> no monkey butt powder in the cake, really. Um. Well, actually, now you've got me thinking, um, Debbie, that we we could go ahead and, and say something that the sock monkeys were planning a surprise for Dee Dee's birthday, and the police were called because smoke was coming from the oven. I mean, we could do something like that. All right, I think I like that. Um, police were recently called. To an address. In Atlanta. I don't know if we're going to go with this. Let's just work with it and see where we go police and fire crews were recently called to an address in Atlanta Georgia when smoke began billowing outdoors and windows oh this pen I love this pen but man sometimes it annoys me after investigating Crews discovered. How many sock monkeys does she have, you guys? Do you know? We could just say several sock monkeys. And what is Vern? Is he a sock monkey? Is he is a um along with an elf on the shelf all right you guys I'm doing this idea Allie let's run with it to bake a birthday cake Or Dee Dee on her birthday. Vern is just a sock creature. Well, okay, bye, Carrie Ann. At least numbers are dollars what now <laughs> CB wake me up and tell me what you, oh at least three or four I just say wake me up and tell me what you're talking about okay yeah but she has that um, she has that black and white um, I thought Vern was a rabbit yeah Vern's a rabbit um, All right, so se so several sock monkeys a rabbit and an elf on the shelf. 
All right. Tell me if you want to go with this. I just put several shells. And Vern, but see, Vern, um, Vern does belong to Paula, except that now she has Vern, the rabbit that lives with her. And she says, um, you know what I mean, Vern, just like Paula does. So, and if I do an article about Vern, I would make sure that Paula got a copy of it, for sure. Does she have two elves or just one? I thought E.T. was the only elf. Okay, but anyway, what I said was, um, the, the title of the article will be Sock Monkey Shenanigans. And what I have right now is police and fire crews were recently called to an address in Atlanta, Georgia, when smoke began billowing out doors and windows. After investigation, crews discovered several sock monkeys, a rabbit, and an elf on the shelf attempting to bake a birthday cake for Dee Dee on, for Dee Dee on her birthday. All right. Does she like that? Where do you want to go from here? All right, I, I'm just going to say an elf on the shelf because it reads better than saying two of this, six of this. Yeah, so I'm just going to say several sock monkeys, a rabbit, and an elf on the shelf. All right, what do you want to do with that now? All right, I'm going to do the cupcake stamp on the cover, Debbie. I guess I could do a, a cake, but I, w I was thinking that the cake was going to be in the shape of Mona Lisa. Okay, we can put quotes from Vern and E.T. That would be good. Where are we going with the article? When being lectured about fire safety, the rabbit said, we just wanted to thank Dee Dee for taking him in. Well, All right, let me think about it. But what I'm thinking about is that the sock monkeys, you know how she sets them up for Christmas to be doing crazy fun things? That's kind of what I was thinking is that in words, we could be having the monkey or the sock monkeys and the elves and stuff doing fun stuff on her behalf for her birthday. Um, because Allie or somebody said something about them baking a birthday cake. So that's where we got here. Now we can transition into um, I was just trying to kind of take on her the way she um, uses them 
the shenanigans they get into on Christmas, that they also get into these shenanigans planning for her birthday. Not a bunch of sappy junk, but funny stuff that she would have them doing, whether it's being decorating the house, um, in a, like, this is how crazy my mind is, is that when they were interviewed by the police that they had sucked in nitrous oxide and were talking like Donald the Duck. You know, I mean, that's what I'm thinking about. Just fun stuff. Not lecturing about fire safety or... I'm thinking, Allie, if I can tie that in without making this crazy long, I'm going to have to give this some thought. Okay. All right, when questioned, plans also included plans also included toilet papering the house, putting whoopee cushions in the chairs, packing peanuts in the fridge. Um Yeah, that's the sort of stuff I'm looking for, Allie. Crazy stuff that, um, raisinets will look like monkey poop. Oh, my God. Yeah, George is always getting into trouble. Just crazy things that they would do, you know? Um, that she will find humorous because we've indicated that we know something about her or, um... When questioned, plants also included toilet papering the house, putting whoopee cushions in the chairs. Just harmless, fun stuff that she would do. Um, I wish I could think of something with that cricket, the cricket noise that she plays that's so darn funny. Um... Installing um, the monkey toy. Oh, the monkey toy that poop candy. Yeah, that was funny. Um, 
a glitter bomb and paint everywhere a birthday banner hanging lopsided across the studio. I don't You guys, I'm not ignoring your your suggestions. Really, my brain is going as fast as yours is. So, um, I'm trying to think what other funny things these crazy sock monkeys could be doing. Um... They opened the box of confetti that Vic, Vicky BR sent as a gift. Um, Um, did Vicky send her confetti or something, Eileen? Is that what you're saying? They opened the box of confetti that Vicky BR is a gift. Um... Oh, okay. Well, I put that in there, and we can leave it. Um, all right, I'm kind of trying to wrap this up because we've got quite a bit already. Um, and, and I'm not loving it, frankly. Um... Because I, I don't want, uh, I don't know. Police and fire crews, tell me if you guys even like this whole idea. I'm, I'm kind of pulling back right now. Um, the headline of the article will be Sock Monkey Shenanigans. Police and fire crews were recently called to an address in Atlanta, Georgia, when smoke began billowing out doors and windows. After, investiga after investigation... Crews discovered several sock monkeys, a rabbit, and an elf on the shelf attempting to bake a birthday cake for birthday cake shaped like Mona Lisa for Dee Dee on her birthday. I'm gonna change out. That definitely is weird. In addition to well, wait a minute. All right, sorry. Back up the boat. Crews discovered several sock monkeys, a rabbit, and an elf on the shelf attempting to bake 
a birthday cake shaped like Mona Lisa for Dee Dee on her birthday. When questioned, plans also included toilet papering the house, putting whoopee cushions in the chairs, um, packing peanuts, I can't read my own writing guys, packing peanuts in the fridge, hiding paintbrushes, Installing a cricket noise doorbell, spreading Vicky, Vicky's confetti in studio, and and spreading confetti Tell me if you are even liking this article. I'm not sure I am It's all harmless stuff, you know Send Trippy to visit her mother. Now what? Yeah, see, Laura, a lot of this and a lot of it that they're saying are things that I've included in previous zines. So I'm, you know, I don't want to repeat what I've already done. Coffee and R in the morning. Now that I see it with the something, it's even funnier. Huh. Unlock the screen door. Okay, so you guys are liking it. I'm I'm having mixed emotions. Um Um, all right, this is how I'm going to end the article. Okay. Um, after we do the whole list of junk that the monkeys did, um, looks like carp with the sensor dots. Um, let's see. I'm going to read it again because maybe I'll fall in love with it this time. Police and fire crews were recently called to an address in Atlanta, Georgia, when smoke began billowing outdo outdoors and windows. After investigation, crews discovered several sock monkeys, a rabbit, and an elf on the shelf attempting to bake a birthday cake for Dee Dee. A birthday cake shaped like Mona Lisa for Dee Dee on her birthday. When questioned, plans also included toilet papering the house, putting whooping, whoopee cushions in the chairs, packing peanuts in the fridge, hiding paintbrushes, installing a cricket noise doorbell, and spreading conve confetti all over the studio. As no injuries or damage was incurred, the police left shaking their heads at the sock monkey shenanigans, truly knowing that Dee Dee will have a memorable day. How's that? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not going to put fart in the morning. <laughs> it is funny, Allie. It is. Coffee and fart in the morning. It's funny. Um, with Modge Podge. Just called in, described baking and decorative disaster, not arrested, turned over in custody of husband. Seems rather lengthy. Well, it, it may be the way I'm reading it. Um, 
I think when I actually write the article. All right, let's see. Let's see if it is lengthy. Because it's got to have a beginning, middle, and end, Laura. Um, police and fire crews were recently called to an address in Atlanta, Georgia, when smoke began billowing out doors and windows. After investigation, crews discovered several sock monkeys, a rabbit, and an elf on the shelf attempting to bake a birthday cake for Dee Dee. A birthday cake shaped like Mona Lisa for Dee Dee on her birthday. I don't like that sentence. It will change. When questioned... Plans also included toilet papering the house, putting whoopee cushions in the chairs, packing peanuts in the fridge, hiding paintbrushes, installing a cricket noise doorbell, and spreading confetti all over the studio. As no injuries or damage was incurred, the police left, shaking their heads at the sock monkey shenanigans, truly knowing that Dee Dee will have him. Yeah, truly no or knowing that Dee Dee will have a memorable day. Not a great memorable day, just a memorable day. What's the word count? Oh, you want to know the word count? And, you know, when I'm writing it for the actual um, zine, um, I probably, since I don't have a, um, any artwork for the Wingnut Gala, now, I may draw a wingnut um, with a banner or something. Um, I may draw a sock monkey because my guess is um, the sock monkey sh shenanigan the article and artwork will take one page. So now we can do um, we could do a full page ad for BAM Because um, right now, at the rate I'm going, I've got two panels left. I'm done with that article now. I might tighten it up or make some little changes here and there, but we're done. Now we need another idea for Dee Dee's birthday. Where's that second page that had the... Um, Okay, so we did the celebration. We did wingnut. I don't remember what we were talking about wish list. What was wish list were we talking about? Yeah, because I, you know, calligraphy. She can do calligraphy. She doesn't need my shitty color. Oops. My bad calligraphy. Sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, you want me to sit here and design a crossword puzzle? I'm not sure that the pay is high enough for me to do that. I mean, we could. Dee Dee's birthday wish list? Okay. Um... Well, let's brainstorm it for a little while. I'm only going to do this about another 10 or 15 minutes. Let's see if it's something we want to do. Dee Dee's wish list. I know what would be on the top of my wish list. <laughs> 
Now everybody's laughing at me because my potty mouth. I knew I would slip, you guys. I, I'm going to do it a lot because these words come out. <laughs> Can I shrink her fox? Um, I never even downloaded the fox because I knew I wouldn't um, have time. We could write a horoscope. Blue sketching leaf. Blue sketching lead. Do a word search with her. That's actually a good idea. That I could do, I think. Not a word scramble. Well, we could do a word scramble or a word search. Actually, I kind of like that, too. See, I, I mean, like coming up with the, this wish list, it's all stuff she already has. She doesn't have to wish for it. Those are all her supplies that she likes. I was thinking, well, like, now if it was me or Eileen, you could send me a UPS guy. You could send Eileen a grease mon monkey and a thong. Um... I was kind of thinking of different things rather than supplies that she already has. She knows what her favorite supplies are. We don't have to repeat that to her. A blow-up doll of Sean Connery. Now, there you go, Marilyn. You're thinking like me. Yeah. Birthday gifts. YouTube sends a blow-up doll of Sean Connery. That's what I'm talking about. Word scramble is where I would take, for example, um, okay, I'll, I'll write one down. Um, all right, that's a word scramble. Can you figure out what that is? And a word search is where it goes down. Um, and then you have to circle the words going down like this or this. This is a word scramble. This is a word search. Yeah, matte medium. So, yeah, because, I mean, just listing all the supplies that she loves, we all know that. And she, I mean, she's like me. If she wants it, she go buy it. She don't have to have no wish list. But what, if you were Didi, what would you wish for? Or what would I wish for? One of them could be an, a never-ending supply. Of golden products. Who wouldn't love that? Um... See what I'm saying, guys? What would CB want? CB would want a bartender that would open her, open her an endless tab. Right, CB? Is that what you would want? Would that be on your wish list? Um... 
My, another thing on my wish list would be one day of limitless shopping on Amazon. That would be on my wish list. Coffee, ice cream, milkshakes every day would be on my wish list. See, it's easy for... Yeah, a trip to Oak Island or Gold Rush set. Um, another thing is she probably would love that I think would be to meet, um, Jeff Probst. She likes Survivor as much as I do, and I think she would like to do that. Or meet Jeff Probst, or, um, oh, I can't think of his name right now. I'll think of it. A free never-ending tab. See, CB, I could get you a birthday present that you would want. One hour would work. Yeah, I, I could shop for an hour limitless. You know, whatever Amazon wanted to give me, I'd be all over it. I don't think Dee Dee would want to be on Survivor, but I think she'd love to sit down and talk game with Jeff Probst. I'm pretty sure she would. I would rather have a day because then I could, um, I mean, I could get new sweatsuits, I could get cat toys, I could even maybe even get Robert a new bathrobe. It wouldn't just be all about me. I don't have an extensive list, really. But anyway. Um... I'm thinking, what else would would Didi find enjoyable? Or would she find clever or cute? Actually, the word search or word scramble wouldn't be a bad idea because we could use map medium because um, I could come up with a puzzle like that really easy. Um, paintbrush Um, you know, all art supply stuff. There's no end to your greed. I, I'm right there with you, CB, because I'll take the boys, the drinks, the Amazon. Yeah. A car. I mean, hello. I want it all. Something that references the grandkids. On her wish list or what? Um. All right, I'm on a roll here. If I do the puzzle I have matte medium, paintbrush, gesso, blue lead, golden, yellow ochre, collage, prismacolor. I would she do you think she'd want to do a collaboration? I don't know. Ink tents. Yeah, we'll get Eileen going here. We'll put ink tents on there. I don't think she wants a book deal for her own coloring book or she would have done it already, Debbie. I mean, she's certainly talented enough. I don't think she has interest in doing that. All right, I wrote it down, Jean.
Um, okay, kangaroo. Ink tenses of fuel, that's funny. Um, I'm going to try and keep the, um, the puzzle all art related. Um, and if I don't do all art related, then I'm going to do all birthday related. But then I'm going to have like cake, candles, balloons, um, Rubber bands? What? Um, let me think. Acrylic. Hello. Good night, Jillian. Sweet dreams. Um. All right, that's probably enough. Oh, she wraps her poor Christmas in rubber bands. So do I. I just put acrylic alley rather than Americana. I just put acrylic paint. Just acrylic. I have golden. This is the list I have. Matte medium, paintbrush, gesso, blue lead, golden, yellow ochre. Yellow ochre is their favorite color. Collage, Prismacolor, ink tents, Mona Lisa, Zig, acrylic, watercolor, color book, graph gear, pencil, pen. Um... Heat gun's a good one. Yeah, I'm trying to keep it all kind of art supplies. If I make it at all. But I've got two panels to fill in. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting tired. So we may have to come back here and meet another time to finish this. And I will have, um, I will have cleaned it up so we know where we're at. But I'm about ready to call it tonight. I'm really tired. I should have just colored tonight. Oh, really, Debbie? Three words that you type? Well, the problem I have, Debbie, and that is a fabulous idea. I love that. Um, except that I'm working with a really, really small format here. You have to remember that I'm going to be limited to... Um, good night, Dorothy. I'm probably going to be limited to, let's say... 15 characters across I can have more up and down well maybe not a whole lot um, because I have to have the list of words so yeah I'm gonna be limited to about 15 characters across and 15 down so some of these words I may not even be able to like yellow oak matte medium two four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, see, matte medium would have to be all the way down one edge because I'm going to have 15 letters probably tops. So, good night, Dorothy. Yeah, this will be fun. Um, 
we'll get it finished up. Um, I, I will not work on it. I will not mention it on Monday's stream because not uncommonly um, Didi will drop in on on those streams. So um, so I won't even mention that it's going on, but some evening next week when Didi's not around. Okay, we're at the 20th now. Hang on, let's come up with some plans here because I have to know my due date on this. Okay, I want her to have it probably... Well, she can... I want her to have it before her birthday, so I'm going to plan on her getting it probably the third. So I'm going to have it in the mail probably um, on the 31st and give it two to three days to get there. So we're at the 20th now. Okay, I have all next week to work on it. So... Um, One night next week, I'll come on when I know that Dee Dee um, probably would not attend a stream. She normally doesn't in the evening. So, um, yeah, paper is a good one. Ink is a good one because oh, I can't even write. It's time for me to go to bed, you guys. I can't even write. Journal. Journal is a great one. get the something so she can show on the third yeah CB I would actually like to um, get it to her so you know if she streamed on the third she could show it yeah so yeah I'm thinking the 30th or the 31st is when I'd like to get it in the mail Wednesday night if there's no Paula we could plan that Debbie yeah cuz we could do it Wednesday evening glue is another good one I'm not gonna be able to use all these those you guys remember um, I'm limited to a certain amount of space here and I won't go across the gutter so um, well I could do let's see how this folds Actually, I could use the whole page if it's a facing page. Okay, six, seven are facing pages like this, so the puzzle could be here and the word list, word list could be over here. So, yeah, this actually could be the puzzle. That would take up a lot of space and make it easier for me. Let me give it some thought. Keep shorter words, yeah. All right, yeah. Okay, if let. All right, I have to look at a calendar again, you guys. I've got to have time to finish it up. I mean, we really pounded Angus out. We're at the twentieth here. That would. Oh yeah, that gives me plenty of time. All right. Let's call it a day for today, and we'll work on it again one night next week. I'm going to bed because I can't talk. I can't spell. I can't write. I don't like anybody, including me. So I'll go kick the cat. <laughs> Robert's over here laughing at me. He's going, she needs to go to bed, you guys. She needs to go to bed because after she kicks the cat, it's me. <laughs> Are you going to bed? Yep. I'm going to go here shortly, too. Okay. All right, honey. So, all right, you guys. I'm going to stop the recording. If you're watching on YouTube, you'll have to come back for part two and see how it ends up. Talk to you later, guys.